Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes here. I'm going to take you on a tour of this latest Element 27. So the Element 27 is a very high-end motorhome within the Australian market. It's based on the Obeco Daily 72C210 truck with all the fruit, all the options. So things like airbag suspension, 8-speed auto, higher output engine, all the option packs that you can get. So tire pressure monitoring, comfort heated seats, Apple CarPlay, radar crews, all that kind of stuff. The motorhome measures 8.6 meters long, around 32.50 high. It's got a four and a half meter slide out on the other side. We use an aluminium frame, quite a, a substantial aluminium frame for the floor frame. We use composite wall panels and floor and roof. An example of that is the 80 millimeter thick roof, which I think you'll find is probably one of the best construction methods in the industry. Walls are 30 mil, very structurally sound floor as well. So on this side we can see the big electric awning here. It's an 18 foot carefree. So the Bluetooth module and the wind sensor built in. And I've had some requests in previous videos to film that with it in. So that's how it sits. It's very nice. Let's start looking at some of the details. So this front storage locker. We've got your fuel tank for the generator. So you do have a generator on board. It's the Dometic Tech 29. Got about 35 litres of fuel there for it. Conveniently placed right next to the filler for the diesel. So nice and convenient when you uh, go to fill up. Side steps are standard. Beautifully finished there. Nice tube vent construction there with the aluminium propeller plate. Beautiful graphics. The colour scheme on this one it's really subtle, very nice. Greys, chapels, silvers, and same on the inside as well. Yeah, courtesy light system up here. You can see that. It's locked at the moment. If it turns on and off. Outside lights, plenty of outside lighting. Door and the double entry set, the electric set is uh, uh, electric and it'll pack away if you happen to drive off with it out. The door does split, so you've got your fly screen that. So you've got your security screen there and that opens up and clips back like it just did then. We won't go inside just yet, we'll do that in a moment. But from here you can see the entry set. This is nice and progressive all the way up so no weird step heights. And here you've got your intake for your heater as well as an umbrella holder just there. Some courtesy lights that come on the thing and your gas detector. Uh, outdoor storage. One thing that really uh, makes the element and the bigger brother, the Meridian, what is on the outside storage. Nice and light. Great big drawer there. There's a number of lockers all the way around the motorhome. Obviously, comes with hoses and power leads and you fitting for your tow bar. So, standard features in this model basically, all the big things that are often extras. So, generator, big solar, big lithium battery. Generator, satellite dish, hydraulic leveling, all those things are standard and to the extent that some customers actually delete some of those features. So this particular van, they've deleted the satellite dish and gone for a 5G RV Wi-Fi unit. So outside TV standard, they've bought in their own baby Q Weber and we've just made a strap there for it. So it's nice and secure. Got the point here to plug it in. The nice stainless steel wheel covers on there. Great thing about this new truck with the options that we get is it's got the tire monitoring built in, so you don't have to check the tire pressures, it'll do it on the dashboard for you. Outside power, fold down table, gas bottles, so two fours, and that's on a slide out tray there as well, which makes life a bit easier. system. I'm sure many of you have seen all these videos before. We've got the 300 amp hour in a drive lithium battery, the 3 kilowatt red arc inverter and the full red arc battery management system and digital control system. So from that you've got two screens inside to turn everything on and off as well as an app on your phone. So you can turn 
lot of things on and off. You can check how much solar's coming in, your water levels, battery levels, all that kind of stuff. Nice hard cover on the back, complements the spare tyre there. So part of the reason we put the tyre on the back is it actually allows us to put the water tank in the correct position underneath. One, to maximise the capacity at about 310 litres. And two, to get the weight distribution just perfect. So an Element 27 has a 7.2 tonne GBM. After they're full of water and full of fuel, you have about 1.6 tonnes of payload. And within that, there's around 600 kilos spare on the front axle and around 1,500 kilos spare on the rear axle. So what that means is that you can pretty much load up however you want in whatever the bins and you don't have to think about it. And we don't have to stress about it. all the storage bins. The lower ones are made out of three millimeter aluminium. So they're very strong and there's no load limits on those. There's nothing we can think of that doesn't fit in those. We can go anywhere near to the, the strength limits of those. So tow bar there, you've got your hot water service on the back. They've added this bike rack. So that's suitable, that's an electric lift down one, so you push a button and it comes down. More storage. Generator top in around here. So that's in a nice spot, it's as far away from your camping area as possible. And you've got your tailpipe coming just out the corner here. So that's cool. We actually find that, apart from running the air conditioner, with the amount of solar we've got on board, that there's not an awful lot of generator use on these. Um, all your service hookups are really easy. It's filling your water tank, town pressure entry, power inlet, and underneath here you've got your toilet pump out and your grey water pump out. So this particular motorhome, they've gone for the black water tank toilet. You've got the choice of either that or the cassette with the signal ventilation. So I'll point this out on every video, but one thing that sets us apart is the fact that the storage bins come out with the slide out. So our slide out design uh, that was one of the criteria that we had and again no load limits on those bins you can put in there whatever you like all right under the bed area lots of space in under here it's a 12 volt socket and a 240 volt power outlet heaps and heaps of space and i've mentioned in other videos as well so if you haven't seen other videos and you want to get a feel for our other models and color combos make sure you check out the um, channel uh, but one thing I do often mention is the fact that the bed height has been set up that you can fit a Waco or Dometic, I should say now, uh, CFX fridge under there, up to 110 litres. So if you do need more fridge space than we've already got, for you going on that long trip and you want to take lots of frozen food, you've got the ability to very easily add that in there. More storage, this is under the lounge. So we offer the element there's more storage down here as well. We offer the element in a dinette option and an L shape. We probably do, without counting it up, we probably do nine out of 10 of those. There's the L shape, which this one is. It's definitely my favorite, but we've got the dinette option there as well. So we'll see that floor plan when we go inside. And if you want to see the dinette, again, just head over to the channel. There's plenty of videos over there. All right. That's a quick rundown on the outside. So again, basic specs. Uh, solar's gone up now, so 760 watts of solar standard. 300 amp hour battery, lithium battery standard. Current specs have still got a two kilowatt inverter. Uh, but we haven't finalized the specs yet for 2025, so we might bump that up to a three kilowatt standard. And I love the graphics on this one, just nice and understated, no extra colors, really subtle. But at the same time, a bit of a standout. All right, let's go inside. So we saw the doorway before. Super easy to use. Nice and snug door. These I really like them. Great color scheme. I was to describe, I guess, a standard colour scheme, this would be it. So the dark bench top, the graphite, ultra gloss graphite combined with the arctic white up here. Just 
really nice. And again, every customer chooses their own colors. It's a gun barrel leather. Um, and if you like this color scheme and you've got one on all the withers, just shoot me a text message or an email and I'll get you the colors of this exact one so you've got them on file. Very nice. All right, let's start opening and shutting things. So in the front cab, you've got your 10 inch screen here, your 360 camera system. Got your, this is all standard IVECO echo gear down here, apart from the UHF radio. So being the highest spec truck, it's got the nicer steering wheel, the um, digital display, it's got the eight speed auto, the, um, the infotainment system there with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto built in and navigation and all things. We have the um, mechanical diff lock, as well as the Traction Plus, Downhill Assist, Radar Cruise, Q Assist, obviously autonomous braking and things like that now. Got your nice seats. So these are the original seats from Iveco. It's come as, as part of the Comfort Pack. So they've got a heating option and a new memory foam um, finish to them. And then we take the leather that you choose on your color day to um, to finish those off nicely so it matches the vehicle. So very comfortable electronic handbrake there. Comfy ride. Um, mileage wise I get asked that sometimes. Um, customers report back around 15 litres per hundred or sometimes a bit better uh, on their long trips. Uh, this is what we refer to as the pantry. So on the side you've got your controller for your red arc screen. Um, and like I said, one next to your bed as well, and the app on your phone to turn things so you just turn your lights on and off there. Super easy. Slide out controls, diesel heater, again another standard feature, generator control. That's a covered space. A couple little features there, the awning control there as well. Um, you might have seen the PowerPoint in there. That's for this appliance cupboard. So this area here, you know, originally kind of had coffee machines in mind. But we see toasters and kettles and thermomixers and different food processors and stuff. So it's a nice little spot. Lots of drawer space. These beautiful solid stainless steel latches. As long as the drawer is closed, it's locked. So no double checking, and nothing like that. Top of the range Blum Legra Box drawer systems. So we're getting the best you can buy. All nice and smooth. Very nice. The fridge, so 216 litre, it's a compressor fridge, technically you can get a three-way but generally now with the solar and battery systems I'd steer you towards the compressor model fridge, which is the standard, nice big fridge, these ones are really good, it's on a nice and cold for the customer today, um, they've gone for the drawer fridge, the drawer drinks fridge as well. So this is standard in the Meridian, the model up from this. Um, it is an extra in this model. Alright, nice lounge. This is the L shape I was talking about. So this is the one we do most of. You've got the, um, the table here. So with this here we can actually move the table up and down and spin it around to the offset of the, the pivot point. It'll, it'll create a scenario where it turns around and actually comes up around from from there so it's offset so that gives you more space essentially simply yeah. okay, kitchen so you've got your drainer chopping board nice you know a big sink but without being too big you want to balance that out you've got your filter tap there obviously hot and cold Again, all top of the range door systems and locking mechanisms. Got your foil, uh, foil and cleaner up dispenser will go in here, and then the cutlery tray. This is fitted beautifully, and the finish in here is really nice. So it's like a non-slip kind of finish. Nice big doors. Oh, there's the cleaner up dispenser. So, so much space. More space in here. And you've got the standard oven. So it's got an oven and grill, as well as the um, three burner cooktop. So 
So this one's got the one electric and two gas. You can get this also with three gas burners. So that's the choice you've got. You've got your microwave in under here. So this is a grey height. You can sit on the bed and very easily grab stuff out of there and put it up on the bench. There's plenty of ventilation in behind there as well. We've got the platinum splashback. So that's like a silver colour. Obviously lots of power points everywhere. Overhead cupboard space. You notice the way the range was built in. It's integrated really nicely there. And again, all the top of the range Blum cabinetry hardware. Soft close. That's ventilated straight outside. Lots of cupboard space. Non-slip matting. And again, as long as these are closed, they're locked. You got your TV here. That's a Another YouTube video going in there in the background. This is on a bracket that comes out, so you can turn that out very easily. And it will, um... Yeah, it'll, it'll turn out and so you can view it from when you're sitting in here. Or the swivel seats, or from the front. Now they've deleted the, uh, the satellite system, so otherwise there'd normally be a vast box up the top there. And you got your bed area. There's storage under here as well. This lifts up on struts. Now I don't know if you saw me do that, I did it literally with one hand. But the way that the struts are arranged, it actually assists you in lifting it. You got your solar screens there too. Now, um, this is a 2024 spec vehicle so it's got the uh, Fusion Audio standard and the outside speaker standard. We've made a little tweak with the cupboard the latest models so I've actually increased the hanging height here with the intention that you, if you're not using the full height you can stack stuff in the bottom and still with three drawers underneath so clean your drawer space right, in the bathroom so I mentioned outside before that they've got the marine flushing toilet um, which there's pros and cons with either toilet and we go through that when we do your colour and contract day. Nice big mirror, got your towel rails. One thing I like about this design of this is you've actually got somewhere properly to hang your towel so they dry. Lots of drawer space. And very easy access for servicing, things like hot water service and stuff too, so you're not trying to combat that. Washing machine, top load. And you can get access to that as well. But yeah, um, hot water system is a continuous gas unit. So as long as you've got hot water, uh, as long as you've got water and gas, you've got hot water. So if you want to burn through all uh, your water and gas, you can have 20 minute showers every night. Nice big shower. It's hard to get a feel for the size shower in the videos, but to give you some idea, you'd easily stand two people in there. Gives you a concept of how big it is. And this nice solid door. Just um, obviously all the beautiful hinges and stainless steel and all very nice. Alright. Customers are going to be here soon to uh, take their new pride and joy away. But they're very excited. You've seen the roof got all the LED lights beautifully lined up. Got the air conditioning, fan hatches. Alright guys. Reach out if you've got any questions comment below if you've got anything specific you want to ask or reach out on socials or call the office all the normal things subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, see all the new ones coming out as well all right well have a great day and we'll see you on the next one